Hi bees, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing the Boxy Charm for March. The first product we have is the Project Beauty Hair Grut Hair Mask. Here it goes. And it says this hair is repair damage, fragile and brittle hair. And let's see how this works. I'll be using this later on. Not today, but you know, I'll be using it. So the second item we have is the Murad Hydration. Let's open it. Here it goes. I have never tried this brand. It says ultimate moisturize for eyes, hydrate intense, hydrodynamic pore for the eyes. So I guess it's for right here under the eye. So I'll be using this today. So the third item is the very cherry clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. Here it goes. So let's the fourth item is the Vintage by Jessica Liber Skin, I guess a lip gloss. And I haven't opened it yet. There it goes, that's the fourth item. So I will be using this for today, doing my makeup. And the last item is the makeup palette. It's the Living, Living in Color palette. So let's open it. Goes. that's all the colors I like the colors they're pretty but it's just like a mini palette it has a big old mirror I like that and right here in the back it shows you all the colors and I guess the names of it yeah show the names of the colors it looks like they're like metallic I like the packaging of this which is pink and like teal that's a pretty color so I'll be using the palette the mirrored hydration for the eyes and the lip gloss. Those are the only three items I'll be using today. So keep watching, let's get So to begin with, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna apply the Murid Hydration for the eyes. Open it. I'm gonna use my fingers for this. So I just applied the Murid, Murad, how you say this? I'm already not sure, but it says Murid Hydration for the eyes, so I applied it. So let me add my foundation and the rest of the face, but now I'll come back and apply the, the eyeshadow, so I'll be back. So I already did my foundation, my concealer, I already set my face, so now it's time to do the eyeshadow, so I already primed. I eyed it with this uh, L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. And I really like this one. It's a little bit dark to me for me, but it still looks, it, bl it blends with my tone. So let's get started with the eyeshadows. Here they are. So I'll be using the this color right here, the little brown. I'm gonna be using this one right here, the dark one. And I'll be using this one right here, the teal. And for the bottom bottom eyeliner, I'm using this pink one. So let's get started. First brush I'm gonna be using is this. So I'm gonna use that brown. This brown right here I showed you. I'm gonna use that one first. This is a really nice color. The majority when I do my makeup, I like the brown on top. I do a lot of different colors, but for the transition color, I like using the browns. And I'm gonna do it in my inner corner as well. I 
and I put this uh, powder right here so in case I have a fallout of the color I just wipe it off when I'm done let's try the other eye these colors are really pigmented so it's really good palette all the palettes I have got from the Foxy Charm they're really good no complaints they're good Like, you know, putting your eyeshadow and just doing circle motion. So the next color I'll be using is this the deep one with the same brush. It looks brown here, but I guess it's like a maroon color. It's still pretty color. Now I'm gonna get a clean brush and then I'm gonna blend out the colors together. Make sure there's no crease. There you go, so now let's get a flat brush to add the teal right here. Let's spray, like I told you in other videos, if you want the shimmery colors to stay more on your eyelid, just spray some of the, the sitting spray. The one you put at the end, you just spray it once. And then you add the, the shimmery, you see? Then you add it to your lid. That's a pretty color. Really pretty. And just for your eyelid, just play with your eyelid because mine is put it so I gotta go a little bit above the regular but if your eyes are perfectly fine you just do it regular but for me I gotta go a little bit up so you can see the color if not you won't be able to see it this is a pretty color combination I did I usually don't plan what look I'm gonna do. I just look at the palette and I just pick colors. But this time I did plan it, so that's why you see I have the earrings matching the eyeshadow. Usually I don't plan what am I what look am I gonna do? Let's do the other side and we also spray it once. Shadow to the palette. You see, you can even start adding it. See, I'm gonna add it like I'm telling you. If you have a regular eye, you can just add it to the bottom. But if I just add it to the bottom, you won't be able to see the color unless I close my eyes. And obviously, I'm not gonna be close, be walking with my eyes closed, right? <laughs> that same brown that I used a while ago in the inner corner so I'm gonna keep adding a little bit more to blend both color both the shimmery and the add it to the other side and to blend it I'm gonna use the other brush Blend the colors together. There it goes. Let me finish.
blush and do the eyeliner and i will do the eyelashes as well so let me come back so eyelashes and eyeliner are done so then before i clean this let me put the eyeliner first i gonna be using this waterproof rk by kiss 24 hour eye define pink liner pink underline and i'm just gonna do the outer corner the inner corner i'm gonna still use the same color So I'm not underlining the waterline, just a little below. Do the other side. In the corner, I'll be using this. This color, it does not have a name. It's already been sharpened too much. It's like a turquoise color, this one, but this is like a teal. But once I do the, once I add the, the same eyeshadow I use for the top, it's gonna match. So I'll be using this one for the bottom. And it's gonna match to the top. This way, the eyeliner from the bottom will last longer because you sweat or it creases too. You add the pencil, then you add the eyeshadow on top. There we go. So now let's use the pink. Now for the outer, I'll be using this pink right here. So beautiful. Try the other side. And it's like a shimmery pink. There you go, so now let's clean the bottom. See how easy that is? Cleans it out. If I would have put that powder on, it would have been all over my makeup. Now let's add the blush. I'll be using like a orangey color. There it goes. Now I'm gonna use this highlighter, the Too Faced highlighter. It has the little pink and gold color to it. And I got this one in the boxy trunk too. I think I got it for January, this highlighter. I'm using this thinner one for my highlight the nose. And keep it bow. inner corner of my eyes and use it for a little bit on top of right here too no for my lips I'm gonna be using this uh, it's me New York lipstick and it's like a really light pink
There it goes. We're just gonna wait for the lipstick to dry, somewhat dry. And I will be applying this the lip gloss on top. So I apply the lip gloss and that's the finished look. I really don't like using lip glosses because they're sticky. And once you eat something or drink something, it comes off. So I really like the matte lipsticks, like the one I just applied. But it's a really lip gloss, really good lip gloss, even into like lip glosses. And uh, this is the look I created with this eyeshadow palette. I try to use the pink and the teal colors on the look. I hope you like it. And uh, that's it for the Boxy Charm of March. And I really like the stuff. They really send good stuff. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, beauties. Bye.